Look at all the countries suffering from the oil curse and you will find pipelines of big international corporations exporting all the poor countries' crude oil to European refineries overseas. So the simple math shows that while we might get on average just 10 US dollars from every single barrel of our crude oil exported abroad, companies like Total and uh, the international corporations behind our oil production will get up to 800 US dollars from every single barrel of our oil that they send to their own refineries overseas, and then gain humongously from all the finished products that they make from processing crude oil, including uh, petrol, diesel, jet fuel, butane, sulfur, plastics, and uh, countless other high value oil uh, derivatives as they call them. They are going to make a staggering 80 times more cash than Africa from our own African oil. While we will continue to remain beggars waiting for EU foreign aid, the handouts, the diktats of those handouts, and uh, their debt trap development loans. Ask yourselves if some of these public officials of ours are so smart, why are they not making sure that they make all those profits from our own national resource, supplying our own regional markets? Now, do you see the scam that is deliberately keeping Africa poor and politically subservient while the so-called development partners also pretend to be helping us fight poverty and ignorance? Yet they are all in on this scam. Show me where they have ever advised any African country to build its own refinery instead of exporting crude oil. Yet they are supposedly our economic development experts. They are all keeping Africa down and using our poverty, uh, greed of our politicians, corruption and our hunger of our people to do so. Exporting crude oil to rich countries rather than refining it ourselves is actually what creates and perpetuates Africa's oil curse, period. That's why we have all the world's mineral resources here in Africa but remain poor countries. It is possibly in an attempt to end this vicious cycle of poverty that Nigeria just completed a new refinery by a popular local entrepreneur called Aliko Dangote. For the record, Nigeria is a country that actually has four old refineries lying dormant and in ruins for decades, having mysteriously never operated. Now tell me, who are the only ones who benefit when these refineries are not working? <coughs> Excuse me. It's the international oil companies. That way they can export all of Africa's crude oil to themselves and their refineries overseas. And thus make all the actual big money of the oil industry. Look at Uganda's case and tell me why they quickly started building the ECOP pipeline already today. Yet for the last 15 years, the building of a small refinery has completely stalled. This is the weakness of our public officials who are easily swayed to serve international corporations instead uh, the interests of those corporations while going directly against their own country and they're even provided with elaborate lame excuses by those corporations to fool the african public uganda's eco pipeline is for making france rich and keeping uganda poor thank you <laughs>